Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days today. I'm going to show you a little bit about what I've got going on in the crock pot, but I thought I'd pop in and tell you guys that this is day three of the uh, Croctober extravaganza. So I'm working on something in my crock pot, but you've had three days now to check out the videos from Amanda at the Bills, Linda from Linda's Pantry, and A Country Home Life. All three great recipes looks awesome. I'm stuffing some stuff in mine right now, and I'll be on on the 21st in on Deep South. My video will go up on Deep South on the 21st of October. Now, there's a lot of good prizes going on. I think today is the last day of the first week of prizes because, you know, October started in the middle of the week. So you have to be registered today in order to be in the drawing and they will announce tomorrow then starting monday we start all over again uh actually sunday we'll start all over again because you'll have a video up from somebody on sunday and all through the next week and next friday night will probably be the cutoff so you'll have to be registered before then for that giveaway today is a crock pot it's awesome if you want a crock pot go check it out in the facebook group and for those of y'all that um, were in my group, I'm choosing two winners for two downloads to my holiday recipes. Okay, guys, one of the uh, winners is Hollycock, and the other is Water Con, K-O-H-N. So those are my two winners. And let's get back to the kitchen. All right, today what I'm doing, I had some spaghetti squash and I mixed in some cheese, uh, salt and pepper, some onions, a little bit of salsa, and I'm stuffing my peppers here. As you can see, I'm stuffing the peppers and I'm going to layer them in the mini crock. I'm only going to do about six peppers in there probably. And what I'm doing now, I'm taking some of the salsa that we made from 2019 and I'm gonna put it on top, kind of like a sauce, I guess, and just stick it on there. Then I'm gonna layer the others on top and put that on there. And we're gonna let this cook for two or three hours, four hours, something like that. And these will be awesome when they're done. Now Danny likes his a little plain, so his does not have the Italian seasonings or anything like that in it. His is just going to be baked in the oven. You can do this in the oven or in a crock pot. So that's both ways you can do this. So I'm hoping that everybody is liking the Crocktober extravaganza. I see a lot of my people over there watching uh, the videos talking in the group, having fun, and that's what it's all about. Get to know each other. There's a lot, a lot of good recipes in the Facebook group, guys. Lots of recipes. I'm seeing them all day long, and I don't have time to write them down. So I'm hoping somebody's keeping record and going to make a cookbook. <laughs> it would be great to have our own homesteading um, crock pot recipes. You know, who knows? Somebody might do that. Anyway, right now... Danny and I are going to live stream later tonight. I thought I'd throw this quick video up. Um, my two ladies, um, Hollycock and Watercon, if you will message me, uh, send me an email at deepsouthhomesteadgmail.com. I will send you the downloads to my two recipes. Or my, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, guys, I'm tired. I will send you downloads to my holiday recipes ebook. So, We've been at it this morning. We went out and cleaned up outside. We were doing, uh, pulling up the row cover and getting it everything in the backfield by the cabin ready for uh, cover crops. We're going to be planting broadleaf mustard and kale. Something we can eat, but something that the deer and the other animals like too. And it keeps our ground moist and growing and fertilized and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to get my crock pot finished and we'll see you on the live. Bye, guys.